ever wondered why a tiny lesion in the brain at this particular point can cause dense paralysis on one side of body and this flaccidity can last up to months? What is this point and why is it important here? Let's explore this in this quick video. The answer lies in the internal capsule, a compact highway of motor and sensory fibers that's critical for function. Internal capsule is divided into three parts, anterior limb, genu, and posterior limb. But it's the posterior limb that carries corticospinal fibers, controlling voluntary movement, and thalamocortical fibers for sensation. It acts as a relay station for motor and sensory information traveling between the cerebral cortex and other parts of the brain and spinal cord. Therefore, even a small infarct here can wipe out motor control of face, arm, and leg on one side. That's why internal capsule strokes often cause dense hemiplegia, complete paralysis on one side, sometimes with facial weakness and sensory loss. Because everything's packed so tightly here, there's no redundancy, no backup. Damage here doesn't just weaken the body, it disconnects it from the brain almost entirely. This is a real CT scan. This is an axial view of the brain. This small hypodense area in the posterior limb of the internal capsule represents an acute infarct. Even though the lesion looks tiny, the patient had complete hemiplegia. That's why rehab in internal capsule stroke needs intense, early, and multisensory stimulation to tap into neuroplasticity. Here are some advanced techniques and approaches you should use in stroke patients to get best results. In our upcoming videos, we will be discussing them one by one. Thanks for watching.